Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was bound to happen. KameaCon UK have cancelled their convention. They went on Twitter last night with the following. Out of much consideration, KameaCon UK has been cancelled indefinitely. This is not an easy decision, but due to the recent events within the fandom, we have decided this is for the best. Refunds at the time of this notice have already been processed automatically. All refunds should take up to 5-7 to seven business days to process. As with any refund, funds may take an additional time frame to hit your account depending on your financial institution. If you have any questions, please message our page directly. Excuse me, I was trying not to cough then, but it just took a big gulp of air. We would like to quickly note, though, our decision comes on the back of recent events within the fandom. This is not due to fans directly. Our community has been through a lot over the last few months. We hope that it only grows stronger and better than ever. Well, with that, I am actually really sad that they've, uh, they've actually stopped it and they've cancelled the event because I wasn't looking forward to going there. There was a few people I wanted to see. And obviously, back in January, they even had said that Vic was going. But, obviously, with the recent events that we've all seen and all uh, heard, and obviously we've reported on here, on this channel, it's very sad to see that they've gone and cancelled it. And I can only think why they cancelled it, mostly probably, is because they probably would get a few people turning up, trying to cause arguments, and trying to harass Vic. That is the only thing I can think of at this moment in time. But... The good news is, though, Kamea Khan, they actually come out again after they sent these tweets about an hour or so after with, although our event will not take place, Saya Khan will be bringing an amazing show to the UK very soon. Their staff is comprised of some of the strongest community leaders this fandom has to offer, and it looks to be a great event. Well, I'm happy with that. It's actually in September, September the 20th to the 22nd, I believe. And it's just on the outskirts of London in Milton Keynes. So that's not too far, which is actually really good. They got quite a good lineup as well, actually. They got a couple of featured guests, and obviously there's content creators and cosplayers going. So I may get a couple of tickets for this, try and go up there, and just to get involved. So with the guests, we have SSJ, who are the official, <coughs> excuse me, Dragon Ball Z music creators. We have Forgotten Future who is another voice actor and special music event. We have Peter Kalamis, we have Josh Martin, Chuck Huber, and we also have Ian Sinclair, just to name a few at this moment in time, which I think is absolutely brilliant. They're getting quite a few people in. They have come out and said that they only do have a limited budget because I know uh, Nick uh, was trying to... He did actually send him a message and he was saying about can you try and get Vic Mignogna there? And they did come out and say the following. Hey Nick, thank you for the recent message and support. Currently, we're still in some planning stages of our event and have almost signed up all of our guests. As we have a small budget to play with, so it's hard to say at this time, but we will consider it as we are huge fans. Just with that one there, that just makes it all so better. Mostly because, obviously, straight in there, get in there, and if, like, if they get Vic... Sayakon will be a huge hit here in the UK. I personally believe that. You've also got quite a few people that are asking for non-attendees tickets as well, like solutions, and they come back with... Oops, sorry, just hit the mic. Hi, this is something we have been talking about recently. Stay tuned as you may see a non-attending ticking ascend to Super Saiyan levels, which I'm really happy with. And all in all, it looks like it's going to be quite good. So, if... They do get a few more uh, guests. To be honest with you, I may just go if they, even if they haven't got uh, Vic and a few other people. Because it does look like it's going to be a great event. There's going to be a lot of cosplaying as well. And it's the first British homegrown Dragon Ball event in the UK. So it's created by fans for the for the fans. Which is absolutely amazing. So they do have a couple of tickets. You do have... The VIP Ultra Instinct, which is a three-day pass, which is £77. That's currently on a May Day special. You do have, obviously, the uh, one-day pass, which is a Sunday, one-day pass for Saturday. 
You do have the two-day passes for the weekends, but there's also quite a few other ones going as well. But with the Ultra Instinct, you do get access to the concerts in the night on the weekend. You also get, obviously, it admits you to the main hall, all panels, and the balcony level. But it also includes exclusive merchandise, a limited edition music CD, and access to the UI VIP queuing system. And obviously, they say that these tickets are limited, so grab them while you can. And for seventy-seven pound, you know, for three days, obviously, it gets everything. It gets the concerts, it gets the limited edition swag, and. I think that's absolutely brilliant. When you go through as well, it doesn't even add anything else onto the price, which is good. But, yeah, so here we are. I do say here, Friday the 20th of September, excuse me, of September. At 4pm it starts until, and it finishes, Sunday the 22nd of September at 10pm. If you are here in the UK, I would strongly recommend, if you can go, be amazing. I'm going to try and get up there myself. Even if you just have like a two-day pass or a one-day pass, they are actually quite cheap. Oh, well, two-day pass is £50 with £2.55 uh, fee. And the one-day pass, again, they are £35. So it's probably cheaper to get a two-day pass. But again, I'm not trying to sell the tickets. <laughs> That's what I may sound like. But if you do go... And I, and I managed to see some people there. I may even do a couple of interviews if I do go up there. Which I think will be good for the channel. And if so, it will be amazing. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see your lovely faces soon.